What up guys, it's Grants Comics here, and today we are going to review Spectacular Spider-Man 182. Boom, right there, with an awesome cover of the of Vermit, Spider-Man, and the Green Goblin. So this is actually part of a storyline called The Children Within. So this is part 5 out of 6, so I think there's like 6 issues. I don't know the... I don't know if they're all Spectacular Spider-Man issues of all 6, because a lot of the comics are like especially with um you know spider-man in particular the maximum carnage storyline which is 14 issues and yes i got all 14 issues i have not read all of them yet but when i do i will probably do a video of just the maximum carnage storyline and i will review it for you well i'm not gonna review all of it i'm just gonna show you guys and then just crazy stuff, but if I if all of the Children Within storyline, all six is the Spectacular Spider-Man uh, comics, then I will be happy and I will try to get all of them as I can because I like to collect not only Spider-Man comics, but just like have them in my collection. This one I'm selling, but if I had another one that I would definitely sell, definitely have one for myself stuff like that but this is not really this is not a, a key it's just a back issue but it's very cool cover it's very clean it's from i believe 1991 and um it's just just very cool cover i don't know if it's tom mcfarland artwork it may oh no it's so so being a being a being a something i don't know here this is what it looks like <clears throat> but yeah that's pretty cool so this issue in particular is about um you know vermin is in this asylum and he's going crazy and the doctor who is trying to help who is trying to help him understand why he is crazy and he explains that he's like his father was like wasn't there for him and his father wasn't like present at the time and his you know he was all like hallucination and he was saying when his name was Edward, so when Edward did become the vermin, his father didn't want anything to do with him and stuff like that. So you, you get to hear what apparently is vermin's side of the story. And um, so the doctor tries to help him out, tries to help him help him out. And he's the doctor is basically saying, calling him Edward, but he's saying Edward's not here anymore. It's only vermin. And that is a little... It's like creeper vibe, but at the same time, it's very cool. And um, so he does go, it, he does go insane. And um, in one of the panels, you do Vermit does get a chance to meet his father, but you know, Vermit just wants to kill his father just because of he thinks that his father betrayed him and the father is trying to say I'm I didn't betray you betrayal you and stuff like that and right before Vermich tries to kill him his uh, Edward's mom comes in and he she tries to co confirm him saying not not to kill your father everything is in the past you guys you should just let it go and he's crying but at the same time he kind of really wants to kill the father and um, Spider-Man crashes in because he is hallucinating and he's just like in this another dimension fighting vermin in another dimension he's tripping out as so it's like a very trippy issue and towards the end of green goblin does not appear in this until like the very last panel so it's literally just vermin and spider-man mostly vermin because in this issue i don't know if the child within storyline is just gonna follow vermin but if it is then that's really cool vermin is not really my favorite spider-man villain he's probably my least favorite spider-man villain him the him and the jackal is two of my f least favorites so yeah i don't really vermin is like a minor spider-man villain he's not like doc ock green goblin venom carnage rhino all these people these bigger villains vermin is just like a small if I would have to, if I had to rate Vermin, he's basically like, he's basically like, in the same range as like Tombstone, 
Jackal and Prowler. That's basically what Vermin is. Maybe a little bit lower than those three, but I think that's just because how many how many times do you see Vermin in this in a Spider-Man comic? You rarely see him. And if you and but in the future, if Marvel does add Vermin more into Spider-Man stories or just in the Marvel stories at all then there is hope for vermin being in the with the big boys but for now he's not with in the big boys that i know of comment down below if there's any other uh Mar marvel uh issues or something like that where vermin is in either in the storyline or on the cover let me comment down below but anyways let's look at the few i'm just gonna show you two panels and i'm gonna show you the, um, so the cover actually is not too bad. I know I'm recording in in the dark, so you can't really see, and I can't see myself because I'm an idiot. But <clears throat> from what I see, there's a few spine stuff. There's other than the spine, because every time I you know do a review, there's a spine. But there's a little like doggy ear right over there small small kind and really the only thing here is that the, I don't know how well you can see that but there is like dirt on the top over here which I need like I which I need like a penny racer because I saw on one video where a penny racer and I believe uh what that circle things the cloth the round I forget what it's called but those things to clean it so um, I don't know if they're I forget what it's called it's, it's cotton related but yeah just I need a, a pen eraser pen a, a eraser pen so I can clean this better and I do I definitely want to work on um, fa uh, Fantastic 446 because that is like a lot of gunk and stuff and maybe with that, I can actually do something about it. But anyways, oh yeah, I was gonna show you the interior art, my bad. So I'll just show you the last page where the Green Goblin does appear, where he says, leave Spider-Man alone, Spider-Man in his minds. Cause Green Goblin is like obsessed with um, Spider-Man. So, well, I'll just show you this one where Vermin wants to kill his father. Um, let me see. There. This is the, this is the last page where, this is one of my favorite panels right here, where Spider-Man's on the roof and Vermin down, and Green Goblin just like, stay away, Vermin, he's mine. So I love that Green Goblin. That's a cool Green Goblin. But yeah, that's it for now. Spectacular Spider-Man 182. If you guys aren't subscribed to Grant's Comics and you guys are watching this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and share this video and make sure you subscribe to Grant's Comics. And if you guys are subscribed to Grant's Comics, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, uh, share this video, and share my Grant's Comics to the comic book community. Let's make Grant's Comics community grow. Alright, see you guys. Alright.